Now I feel that um, I need to take this nail out, let this all drain out, and then we're gonna find out what's causing this, and then we're gonna heal from, and hopefully the new nail will grow back. So that's all we're doing today. Ask just a couple of questions, right, Keith? Okay, Doctor. Right. Ready? Okay. So we have Keith here. Hi, Keith. Hey, Doctor. How you doing? Pretty good. Good, good. So Keith has this problem. This is rather unusual. I've seen a lot of this, but not as severe. It would have an infection at the base of the nail and wouldn't allow the nail to grow. And this part looks like fungus too. So whether he has bacterial infection or fungus infection, and then we're gonna find out. The only option that I have, because he's having a lot of pain, right, this is pretty painful, right, Keith? Yes, doctor. So he has problem uh, wearing some shoes. He's fancy, nice looking shoes. And so now I feel that, um, I need to take this nail out, let this all drain out, and then we're gonna find out what's causing this, and then we're gonna heal from, and hopefully the new nail will grow back. So that's what we're doing today. Okay, Keith, let me know if it's uh, any painful, okay? Okay, doctor. I'm gonna free up the area here. There was a little bit of drainage on this side, but now it's gonna dry it up. Feel anything, nothing? No. Okay, very good. So now I'm freeing up the top area, which is where the, seems like there's an infection underneath that area. And then I have to be very careful not to hurt the um, nail bed because we want the new nail to grow nicely. So I'm gonna be very careful, literally dissecting carefully without hurting the uh, nail bed. So that's what we're doing. Anything, Keith? We're good, doctor. Okay, very good. So I'm gonna free up the bottom now. And free up the bottom slowly. So you, you, you went to see your primary doctor, right, you said? Yes. And then the, what, what did the primary doctor do for you? He went ahead and provided, he observed it. He uh, noticed that there was uh, some inflammation. He provided me an antibiotic, an ointment. Mm -hmm. He recommended me that I uh, water it with um, Epsom salt mm -hmm. and check it out for a week, see what, what happened. And he eventually recommended me to go to you. I see. But you, um, you took some antibiotics too, right? You That's took correct. Keflex for about 10 days? Yes. So that, that did seem to help a little bit to calm it, it down? It did, yes, it did okay. reduce the swelling. It seemed like it was working out when it came to minimizing um, the um, the secretion or the infection that was coming out of the uh, nail area, so. Mm -hmm. Okay. But it's still swollen and it's still painful, so I think there's some things are trapped underneath the base of the nail, so we need to clean all that out and then make sure it uh, have a new nail coming out nicely. That's, that's our goal. We're gonna send, send this whole thing off to a laboratory to make sure they can analyze it, see if they see anything there. You okay, Keith? Yeah, doctor. Okay, very good. So this is now coming off now. I'm kind of curious as to see what it looks like underneath it. Here's the nail, you can see. So I'm gonna make sure they analyze all of these things. It's rather thick there for some reason, so we're gonna make sure we analyze that area as well as the front part of the nail, which look a little bit like fungus too. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit here to make sure that it's gonna grow nicely here. So I'm just cleaning it out, the base. And whatever, that that base looked a little bit thick there. So we'll, we'll make sure that they analyze separately, okay? The base and the top, so that uh, we get to the bottom of this problem. Okay, so this looks good right now. And then I'm gonna give him some extra medicine so he won't have as much pain, okay?